the Turkish Mafia basically rented a whole hotel, took these girls to this hotel, impregnated them, and the babies were then taken to have their or organs harvested. Can you imagine the depth of depravity that it takes to, to take a, a, a poor child in an orphanage who's already lost their parents or already been abandoned, to then take them to a place of being raped, to then see that same child bear a child and fi maybe finally feeling like, gosh, I've accomplished something. I I've, he here's offspring you know, of, of my womb to only then have that child ripped away to be harvested. And you've got rich people and the, the Emirates and Turkey and, and other countries of affluence and, and they've got a dying child. They don't care about the, the child in a poor developing world. All they care about is they want to save the life of their child. They don't care how that heart, how that liver, how that kidney comes. All they care about is their child. And there's men who are willing to facilitate that. It's warped. No one is immune. Women, children, boys, Southeast Asia, Indian subcontinent, Latin America, Eastern Europe. There is nobody that is immune and out of the grip of this evil. In uh, Pattaya, Thailand, a uh, area known for the uh, sex tourism industry, a lot of people come here actually on a an official sex tour. You can see one of the tour buses. Now he's got his hand on bare skin. It doesn't get more open than this. Hold on, this guy in the suspenders. Yeah. As we've walked this street here, it feels like a carnival atmosphere. What can only be described as a, a modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh yeah. Too young. Too young. It's 5 a.m. in Patpong, one of Bangkok's prostitution districts. Uh, this bar beside me here has a, a rather offensive name, but the truth is that everything that goes on on this street and many like it in Bangkok is truly offensive. There's 50 girls at yeah, yeah, 6 yeah. in the morning. Yes, sir. But now happy hour. Happy hour to put those. No photo, no photo. Well, don't have the door open. Hey! No, no, no. One of the things that, that really gets to me personally is uh, a lot of these girls have numbers pinned to their chest where a client would then pick out a girl by, by a number. They don't have a name, they don't have a history, they don't have a family. They're simply a number. They're, they're a piece of meat uh, to be put on display and uh, chosen for butchering. It's a little after uh, 7 in the morning and uh, the girls are still working out on the streets. It's a little early to be working this morning, isn't it? Yeah, because in the night time, police are catching In the night time, the police are snatching the girls? Touching. Oh, touching. They abuse the girls. So you like to work the daytime to avoid the police. Just across the border in northern Thailand, actually in Burma, and the sign behind me pretty much says it all, an exhortation to not sell your children, to not see your children be placed into domestic servitude, to, to beat and abuse them, and to also see them in a situation of child prostitution, or sexual slavery. Imagine being sold into slavery for $10. My mother sold me for about 300 baht back behind the house, about 10 bucks. The scars run deep, and it takes a loving home to be able to help mend some of those wounds. In a lot of these countries we work in, these kids graduate or age out of these institutional orphanages, often corrupt institutional orphanages, where even the directors will call the traffickers and let them know when certain kids are being released.
I'm now involved in a campaign, Traffic Jam. They're seeking to unite musicians and their fans to jam up child trafficking around the world while also jamming to, to make a difference. We have got a, a lot of artists that have given us signed instruments as part of this Instruments of Change program. I've got a, a beautiful guitar here that was donated to us by Dave Matthews. He signed it and you see he's put some pretty incredible artwork in, on it here because he believes in this cause and he believes that this instrument can be an instrument of change. Just a stroke of a pen can break the chains of slavery for a child. Hello. Hello. Wow, hi. There's few things on this planet that elicit you know, such a passionate response in people than you know, the, the music they identify with and, and the causes they identify with. And to marry those together, there's power in that. Yeah.